Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a gorgeous day. Now, it has been a while since I have shared um, some purchases with you. So today I'm going to go through a couple of purchases that I have made and these are pre-loved. Now, as I show you these pieces, I will share the item number what they retailed for, and what I paid for them. So let's start with this one. Now the item number for this is 781376, and it's called the Pandora Rose Crown Pendant. Now it did retail for $50, and I was able to snag this for $22. Now when I first received it, it was heavily oxidized. But, after a couple of washings, I was able to get it back to new. It's super shiny, It's and it's absolutely stunning. I love it. Next, we do have the black terminalated quartz pendant. Now this piece is has been retired for a long time and I honestly could not find the actual retail price. But the item number is 390173BRU. Now, again, it is terminated quartz. I absolutely love the little black lines that are in this pendant. But it is a little bit hard to see. This one's in pretty decent condition. It does have a few little dings on some edges of the facets. But it's not a big deal because it is a pre-loved piece. It's super gorgeous. I was actually thinking of getting this piece for a Halloween theme because it looks like witch hair. And also because when I moved to Victoria, I was introduced to the Arbutus trees. Now, these trees in the winter, they look very, very creepy. So <laughs> I thought it would be really cute. Um, to represent the Arbutus trees. Now, I'm going to show you the back. Now, the back is open to allow some light to penetrate the quartz so that you can actually see the little black lines. And it does say at the top, 925 ALE. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Right, so here... We do have the two-tone Lazy Daisy clip. The item number for this one is 791014 and it did retail for $110 and I was able to get it for $35. Now that is an amazing deal, ladies and gents. I honestly did not think I would, able, I would be able to find this um, at least under $80. So it does have recessed um, little flowers and all the centers have these little 14 karat gold um, little raised dots or bumps. I did find this piece on Poshmark and when I did get it it was heavily oxidized again so it did take about three washings to get it shiny again. And I didn't overdo it because if I would have overdone it, I would have removed the oxidation that was actually applied on purpose. I am looking for a second one of these, but chances of me finding another one at a very good price, like what I paid, that may not happen. So <laughs> I will keep looking to find a second one of these. And these are actually larger than I expected. Now, ladies and gents, I finally found some blush pink crystal glass beads. Now, again, these are the Pandora blush pink crystal beads. These are not Murano's because it's not made with Murano glass. It's made out of crystal. Uh, the item number is 
these pieces, I don't remember what year they came out, but they were only released for a limited time because they stopped production. Um, they were having production issues with these pieces. The color is a beautiful blush pink, almost to a taupe color. I have two of them, and I did buy them on two separate occasions. I've been dying to get these pieces. So now I have the blush pink, and I am waiting to find the olive green pieces. So these are faceted in a different manner as the regular faceted Muranos. They are absolutely stunning. Now these are fragile as well. There is one of them that has one little teeny tiny ding, which honestly you probably can't see. I know it, but it's not a big deal. These did retail for around $55. And I paid $22 for one and $20 for the other. So again, if you have a chance, do get your hands on these because there's not a lot of these out there. All right, ladies. So I didn't really want to take apart this bracelet. So I will show you the two new additions or pre-loved additions that I added on to my club charm bracelet. Now we are going to start with the 2015. Now, the item number for this one is 791702D. And it is a 2015 club charm. And it did retail for $85 and I paid 30. Now on this one, as you can see, it is <laughs> pretty dented. I do believe it's the only club charm that I have that has dented this much. But for now, it will do. I am actually looking to see if I can find another one that it is in better condition. But for now, it will do. It has the 2015 inscribed in the center of the O. We do have the beautiful crown. And then we do have the diamond that is recessed in a raised heart. Now these you do have to maintain or to polish often because then you avoid the buildup of oxidation between the raised heart and the puffy heart. Again, it is <laughs> severely dented. With time, I may be able to polish out all these little dents, but I'll try to keep an eye out for a newer one. All right, so the 2016 is 791912D and again it did retail for 85 and I actually paid $15 for this one believe it or not $15 that is ridiculous I guess somebody just didn't like it or maybe it brought some bad memories but I was able to get it for a low price so it's all a bunch of little hearts it's an open work um, it just um, pops onto the bracelet. Uh, you don't have to thread it on. And it's just, um, like I said, a little bunch of hearts and, and some beading detail all around. And then we do have the heart recessed in a little heart. And this one is in perfect condition. I was really shocked to have been able to find it for $15, to be honest but I am super, super, super happy with this piece. So now I pretty much have, um, well, I'm only missing one club charm, and that is the angel wings, which I will be getting at some, some point. Next, this is the mesh sterling silver bangle. This bangle, retailed for $75 and the item number for this one is 596543. Again, it did retail for $75 and I was able to get it for 30. Now, I really really like this bangle. Um it is a size 8 and I usually wear a size 7.5 snake chain. So, I do find that on me 
The 7.5 bangle is fantastic, but if you only have, say, this many charms. Now, since I'm trying to fill this up for a club, for um, basically a club charm theme bracelet, I went with an eight, so I have a little bit more room on this bracelet. And this bracelet is a beautiful mesh, so you do have to maintain and polish it um, rather often, because what's gonna happen if you don't is that all these little recessed areas will all fill up with um, oxidation. So you do have to stay on the ball um, by main, um, polishing this as often as you can. And as well, it is a little bit more flexible than your regular bangle. I can actually pinch it a little bit. And as you know, I was never really a fan of bangles, but now I'm starting to like them. All right, so next we do have, now this is a little bit hard to see because I do have a light that is um, that I'm using as I'm filming. Now this is the Rose Puffy Heart Charm. The item number for this one is 780137, and it does retail, or did retail, for $55. And I was able to get it for $25. Now this one is perfect. The seller bought this um, and never wore it. I actually bought this and the mesh bangle at the same time because I got a better deal. It is rose, and there's not one scratch on it, and it does say A-L-E-R. It's a gorgeous piece. They never should have retired these puffy hearts. Never. Um, I absolutely, well, I actually don't have the sterling silver puffy heart. I was never able to find it without any dents. So that is on my wish list. If you do put it on an old pendant, you do have to put some silicone in the ends to keep it upright because it will do this on an old pendant. All right, ladies, in here we do have the last one for today. And the item number for this one is 790122. And this is the Pandora Two-Tone King Crown. Now this piece has been retired for a very long time and it is rather hard to find. Usually when this one comes up for sale, it is sold within five seconds. I'm sure it retailed for about $100, um, this piece, um, and I paid $50. Now I did pay a little bit more than what I wanted to pay, but to be honest, to find a piece this rare and hard to find I just I I just agreed I mean I wasn't going to to say well you know well, let me know if you change your mind I wasn't gonna do that now this is a little ball with a 14 karat gold crown on top now as you can see I do have like this light um, that I'm using as I'm filming so you can see a couple of little dents now this is fine because for its age, it's okay. And with future polishings, this one, I should be able to get these little dents out. So I will try to polish a couple of times um, per week, but I do have to be careful not to over polish or to polish the 925 ALE that is underneath. So I try to hold it like this, so that I can polish um, the front and the back without touching the um, hallmarks. Now with this piece, you also have to keep in mind that it is older, which means it's smaller. So again, this one I'm having a couple of issues um, styling. All right, ladies and gents, that was my haul or individual hauls that I have been making 
in um, the last couple of months, probably from March, April, and May. There are some more pre-loved pieces that I did purchase, but I'm going to save those for another video. There are some bracelets that I have updated, and I want to share that with you. And I'm also going to share how I'm going to style a couple of these pieces that I did show you. And as well, there is a super, super awesome score that I did make. And I'll give you guys a little guess. 14K. That's all you get for now. So stay tuned. And um, if you enjoyed this video, click like. If you wish to subscribe, I would absolutely love it. And if you have any comments or questions, don't hesitate. 